Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where a woman expects a sperm donor to hand over 18 years of child support. Posted to Facebook. I need recommendations on a construction company, not just some tradie to cut this down because it won't fit my storage space. See picture. My budget is around $15. I'll also sell this piece of furniture if anyone's interested in a bargain. I paid $160 for it. It's a rare color, and my labor to assemble the furniture adds value, so it's $300. You pick up and haul it, or I'll need a real carpenter or construction crew to cut it down. Okay, so... <laughs> this person posts a picture of the furniture, and it's just a run-of-the-mill IKEA bookshelf. I know it's an IKEA bookshelf because I assembled this exact model. <laughs> down in the comments, people track down the original bookshelf, and yeah, it's an IKEA bookshelf, it's called a Kallax, and they don't sell for $160, they sell for $90. I will admit that technically it is a rare color, because OP posted a grey bookshelf, and IKEA only sells them in white and black. So literally, this person's trying to sell a $90 bookshelf that you can just buy from IKEA for $300. <laughs> and to make matters worse, this person wants to hire a construction crew to disassemble a bookshelf? This is an IKEA bookshelf. They're like the easiest things in the world to assemble and disassemble. You just unscrew the screws and they're disassembled. And even if you don't want it in your house, you don't even need to disassemble it. Just take it out and put it on your like on the front road of your house and someone will eventually come pick it up because it's free furniture. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking down in the comments. Oh my god, I didn't even notice this because I was just focused on other parts of the story. But this person is selling this shelf because it won't fit inside... <laughs> because it won't fit inside the, the closet that they purchased it for. But people down in the comments are just like, just put it in diagonally. And like, yeah, they're right. Because if you try to put it in the bookshelf just straight back, then it won't fit in the door. But like, what kind of idiot tries to bring a piece of furniture through a doorway and is like, oh, it won't fit long ways. I guess it's stuck. We can't do it. Well, so just turn it diagonally and put it in that way and it would fit perfectly. Or alternatively, even if it couldn't fit and it can fit, then all you'd have to do is just disassemble the furniture and then reassemble it inside the closet. Like there's so many solutions to so this guy's, he's so stupid. This guy's so stupid that he doesn't even have the brain power to think, uh, well, uh, if the big rectangle is too big for the square hole, then I don't have enough brain power to think, Oh, I should turn the rectangle sideways and then it'll fit inside the small square hole. Oh. <laughs> Alternatively, you could just take the closet door off of the closet and that would make the closet hole bigger and then you could just push the push the furniture back in there and then put the closet door back on. There's so many solutions to this guy's problem. But he's too stupid to realize any of them. So he's trying to sell his furniture for, what, 90 into 300 is three times the price. Three times the price. <laughs> we need Ross Geller for this one. Pivot! 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 Dude, just pivot the furniture and it'll... Oh my god, this is... I almost feel bad for these people. Because they're so dumb that they don't even understand, like, basic... You know, like a three-year-old, they get, like, blocks and you put... You put the circle block in the circle hole, and the square block in the square hole, and the triangle block in the triangle. This person is so dumb they couldn't even do that freaking puzzle. I mock these people on this channel because they deserve to be mocked because they're choosing beggars. But like, part of me is like, God, what is it like to go through life and be that stupid? Just that shoe on head idiotic. Does a person like this wake up every morning and just think, uh, do my socks go on my hands or on my feet? I don't remember. On this next post, OP is trying to sell a desk on Facebook Marketplace. Is this still available? Yes. Can you deliver to blank? Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot. When are you free? Now if you can. Is it okay if you could help me get it out of the car because it's quite heavy? Of course. What's your house number? Blank. Do you have cash ready? Can I pay you in pleasure? <laughs> no, lol. Well, you know, Choosing Beggar, you know what really turns me on? Getting paid cash. My fetish is people giving me money for products and services rendered. Thank you, ma'am. 
Hi everyone, I'm looking for a natural sperm donor meeting these requirements. Age, 16 to 23. Never use any prescription or illicit drugs. Never drank except for communion. Blonde or light brown hair, not overweight, and comes from a 75% American background. Agrees to forfeit all parental rights at time of birth. No payment will be collected during any natural breeding sessions. However, regular child support payments in the amount of 20% of your income will be expected within the first month of birth. You'll remain completely anonymous throughout the child's 18 years of life, and you would be expected to maintain the same level of anonymity with anyone around you. Please reach out to me through Messenger for more information. Thank you! So, you have to pay over 20% of your income over 18 years, which... <laughs> okay, let's just do the math. Let's just assume... Okay, so let's say, just for the sake of argument, that you make 50 k a year. 50k times 0.2 equals $10,000 a year that you're paying this woman just because you donated sperm to her. Multiply that by 18 years, that comes out to $180,000 that you're paying this girl just so she can raise your kid without any of your say in it. Like, this is such a bad deal. Like, if you just want to get your rocks off and you're willing to spend money to do it, then pay for a prostitute because it's a hell of a lot cheaper than $180,000. Alternatively, if you want to have a kid, then why would you sign up for this deal because you have all of the responsibility but none of the rights? Man. Oh my god, imagine losing 20% of your income for 18 years just because you passionately hug a crazy woman on Facebook one time. Who, who would take this woman up on this deal? And besides, as a sperm donor, she should be paying you, not the other way around. There's just so many red flags in this post, and like, what even is a 75% American background? Unless this person is talking about Native Americans, which I doubt because they want blonde or light brown hair, then like the oldest an American family could possibly be is being in America since 1776. And that's just 200 years, I think. Yeah, like 200 years that a family could be American, which can't be that many. If we assume a generation is like 30 years and that's like six or seven generations. And, <laughs> and on top of this, they're looking for someone as young as 16 years old. So I understand that the age of consent is 16 in some locations, but is anyone else weirded out by the idea of like propositioning 16 year old boys on Facebook for transactional intercourse? This feels, uh, this feels pretty weird to me. Hey, I saw that you redo furniture. I had this really big china cabinet and I was hoping to have it turned into a coffee bar. I got your number off your business card. I don't use Facebook, so I hope it's okay that I'm texting you right now. Hi, yeah, I don't mind at all that you're texting me. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? My name is Kathy. I live in blank, but blank gave me your business card. I love what you did with her piece and I just really want you to do mine as well. She showed me your other work, and wow, the blue vanity is a dream. Are you selling that one as well? Also, here's a picture of my china cabinet. Unfortunately, that blue vanity is my personal vanity, so it isn't for sale. Thank you for the compliment on it, though. As for your china cabinet, I can definitely fix that up for you. It does need to be stripped and sanded before I can prime it, so it'll be a bit more expensive than the work I've done for blank. What do you have in mind color-wise? But you're a business. Why would you post a piece that you weren't selling on your business page? That doesn't make any sense. For the china cabinet, I was thinking white or black ombre. Well, I posted that picture there to showcase my work. It could also be used as a reference photo for someone who wanted that color combination painted on a piece. I'm so sorry for the confusion. White to black ombre is definitely doable. Do you by any chance have the dimensions of the piece? It's 76 inches wide by 72 inches tall. I just don't understand why you posted the vanity on your business page, so you should sell it to me. I'll give you $250 for it. Well, if I did sell it, the price would be $750. But as I stated earlier, I'm sorry, but this one is mine and I'm keeping it. As for your china cabinet, given the size, the fact that it needs stripping, and how much paint it would take, my estimate is about $400. Also, I take a 30% deposit before picking up pieces to cover supplies needed. Let me know if you want to proceed. I'll send over an e-contract for you to sign. 
I'm sorry, $750? That is absolutely ridiculous. I can go to Ikea and get a vanity for $200. And $400 just to paint something is also insane and unfair. How'd you even come up with that number? Sounds like you pulled it out of your butt. And why would I pay you before you even do any work? That's stupid. Then, OP sends back a long explanation about pricing. She ends with, if you can get a vanity from Ikea, then do that. Because I guarantee that you won't harass them about their pricing or argue with them about something that isn't for sale even though it's in the store. I appreciate you contacting me looking for me to do work for you, but I've decided that it will not be worth it to work with you. My peace of mind is worth so much more. Thank you and have a nice day. I was working, some of us have a real job. I'm glad that you don't want to work with me because you're a scam artist and I don't want to work with you either. I'm going to tell everyone I know how awful you are. Scam artist, LMAO, okay. Just because you can't afford my prices with your real job doesn't mean that I'm a scammer. Have the day that you deserve, ma'am. Okay, so down in the comments, OP posted a picture of her vanity, and I'm going to be honest with you, this is one of the prettiest vanities that I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying this because I want to trash on the choosing beggar, but it's literally gorgeous. It's like, how do I describe this? It's kind of like sea blue that has a very gentle gradient to this dark, rich, royal blue. And it's got this kind of like odd kind of goldy browns paint that makes it look like it's kind of like shining through the blue paint. So I'm just trying to say that this vanity going for $750 is completely reasonable because this is a beautiful custom antique work of art and you could not buy this thing at Ikea. In fact, I'm pretty sure the only way that you could ever find a piece of furniture like this is if you pay someone like OP to get it for you. Because it's clearly an antique piece of furniture, but it's been completely overhauled to make it more modern and beautiful. And yeah, 750 seems completely reasonable. This next post is honestly such a train wreck that I'm kind of like having trouble figuring out where to begin. So let's just dive in. I'll try my best. So this person posted online a literal itemized bill of their expenses, and they're saying they want other people to give them money to like crowdsource their bills. We've got $500 for a false claims lawsuit, $3,000 for car repairs, $1,800 for a shower floor leak, $2,000 for small repairs and replacements, $920 for a car payment, $800 for groceries and gas? What? $800 for groceries? $430 for dog food, dog treats, and pet insurance. One, what? What is this? Cannabis, rosin, RSO, caps, tabs, and topicals. Is this pot? I think this is pot, right? $1,000 for pot? That can't be right. Yeah, cannabis, rosin is pot, okay. What, is R what are RSOs? RSO is also pot, yeah, okay. Caps and tabs, this, this can't be right. $1,000 for pot? What? $600 for a chiropractor and massage therapy, and then $1,000 for care packages and food pantries and supplies. What? But we already have $800 for groceries and gas. So why do we have another thousand for care packages and food? And then this person posts their cash app and their Venmo and their PayPal asking for money for all these expenses. 500 plus 3,000 plus 1,800 plus 2,000 plus... 460 plus 460 plus 800 plus 430 plus 1000 plus 600 plus 1000. Okay, that comes out to the low, low price of $12,050. Then, after this choosing beggar somehow gets donated $1,200, they get sent this. Thank you for those trying to get me to my goal, but we didn't even reach the goal to pay for my bill for my car. Also, my dad's car just gave out, so we'll need Lyft and we'll also need cash to do so. I appreciate those that sent what they could, especially the five people that sent over $100, but I only raised $1,200. I need $3,000 by Thursday, but it didn't happen. So now my bills are late and y'all genuinely act like I don't get to survive, even though I'm pretty sure that you guys can make sure that you feed yourselves and your kids. What? What, on, what am I reading? But you'll let Joe Budden, does he mean Joe Biden? 
You'll let Joe Budden still be rich and have a broadcast after admitting he thinks about stroking his dog's dick. What? Who is Joe? <laughs> what am I reading? Oh, okay. He's a rapper. I see. Didn't know that. Y'all need to fix this now. I need $3,000 by today, and I need another $4,300 by Sunday. Make it happen. Share and boost hard. Donate. Man, I don't even know where to begin on this one. So, I think the big problem here is, <laughs> is that this guy's expenses are $12,000. If you expand that over 12 months and pay that same amount every month, that comes out to like almost $150,000 in yearly expenses. Like, bro, do you really need $1,000 to cover you the month for massage and pot and like almost $2,000 worth of groceries? Like, come on, man. Then down in the comments, OP gives more information. So this choosing beggar does this every month. They come up with an outrageous amount of crowdfund needs, including money for illegal Percocet pills, cannabis, and all kinds of insane bills. They're also supposedly in a car accident every other month. When their crowdfund goal of thousands of dollars isn't met within a week or so, the rage posting starts. When the new month comes up, they delete everything and start all over again. They've managed to raise thousands of dollars. For the life of me, I can't understand why people keep donating and enabling this behavior. Okay, so I've covered a lot of job postings in r slash choosing beggars, but I think this is the worst one that we've ever had. Job type, full time. Pay, 16 to $18 per hour. Okay. Then they list a ton of benefits like 401k, dental insurance, health insurance, paid time off, etc, etc. This is for an 8 hour shift on call. Ed <laughs> Education required. A doctorate. The title of this post is the only doctor you'll get for $16 is Dr. Pepper. So the average amount of time that it takes for a student to get a doctorate degree is 8.2 years of school. So, <laughs> imagine going to school for almost a decade, racking up all that debt just to get a job that pays, what, like two or three dollars above minimum wage? Are you kidding me? That was our slash choosing beggars, and if you like this content, check out my Patreon where I publish extra episodes. Also, hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.